Here's Janine Ortiz here with a quick quick time video to talk about downloading the quarterly exams from the Commons. So here I am at my dashboard. Here's the course I'm going to put an exam into from the Commons. The Commons is on your Canvas navigation panel on the left hand side, this dark gray one. It's near the bottom right above the help button. Commons is just a searchable place where you can share and download courses, quizzes, assignments, discussions, anything you can make in Canvas, you can find in the Commons. So just click to open up the Commons, and Love Foy has uploaded all of the quarterly exams by title to the Commons. You can see there's 77,000 results, so all you need to do is put in the name of the exam. I'm going to search for the grade six quarterly. I think she called them all quarter exams. And you'll notice it's hard to type because it sorts each time I click a new letter. So I'm typing a little bit slower than normal. I've already typed it, so I'm just going to choose that. So here are the results. I found 12 results for grade six quarterly exam. This means there's other people's exams here and you can tell who has uploaded because their name is right here. So here's the grade 11 by Lovefoy. The grade 12 exam is there. This grade six is from another school district. Grade seven, grade eight, grade nine, grade 10 and grade six. So grade six, quarter one exam. I'm going to click to open it. If I want further proof that this is the right one, I can just quickly scroll through and see if this is the correct passage in preview here. Okay. I'm going to import or download this. So I click on this import download button right here on the right hand side. And then I'm going to choose which course it's going into and I'm putting it in my English 7 course. And then I click import into the course. And it's going to give me a message that I have successfully started the import. It may take a little while to see the changes. So I'm going to pause and go back to it and see if it's there by going to my dashboard. opening the course, going into my quizzes, and searching for, oh, there it is already, grade six, quarter one exam. Now, it says here not available until October 25th. Love already put in the dates, so it's due at 3 p.m. There's different ways of doing, of administering the exam. I'm just going to show you one, the easiest one, which is using a code for access. And you can change this code each period that you administer it so students can't, if they do pass on the code, it won't work for the next group of students. So once you open the exam, you can go into edit mode. And you can check all of these things to make sure it's correct. It's a graded quiz. You might want to uncheck sync to infinite campus if you're not using that function. Shuffling the answers. It doesn't shuffle the questions, just the ABCD choices. So you could leave that or uncheck it. It does make it a little more secure. I don't like the time limit. It stresses kids out to give them 45 minutes especially um, if you're giving extra time. If you have students who get time and a half, you don't want to check the time limit. Um, you might not want to let them see their responses, so you can uncheck that. Uh, if you want to check it, you can let, if you just check this first box, they'll see their grade and what they got wrong, but they won't see correct answers. This is where you can schedule when they can see the correct answers. You could schedule it for a week later whenever you have time to review it or not at all. You could do it whatever way you want. Showing one question at a time I don't recommend because they need to scroll back to see the text so don't check that. This is the one that you should check requiring an access code 
and you can put in whatever you want. You could see I just I gave a test yesterday, and these are the four codes I used: Ortiz one two three, Ortiz four five six, seven eight nine, and whatever. I changed it after each period by going to edit, scrolling down to this part, and I just changed the one two three to four five six. This way, when the first group finished the test, the second group could not open it and preview it before the actual test. Down here, I ha it's set to assign to everyone on the date. So if yours is a different date, change the date, obviously. We have ours available until 3 p.m. Once a student takes the test and completes it, they don't have to, they cannot get back into it. So leaving it till 3 p.m. is fine if they've already taken the test. Um, again, she has it set to be open at midnight, but only with the access code until 3 p.m. So if you'd feel better about making this 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., whatever works for you. Down here it says add. So let's say you had a student absent on the day of this test and you want to give it to them the next day or whenever your makeup date is, you can just click add and then put in a couple of letters from that student's name. Um, say, I don't know, I have a few Ethan's and it's going to pull out that kid's name and you can assign it to them and put it in for a different date and time and you could schedule it for them like if they're going to take it fourth period in the testing room you could make it available to them at that time or they can come to you for the code if you're keeping a code in there it's up to you there's many different ways of doing it but I do believe that this access code is the best way to do it make up your own and then for your makeups just click add put in a student's name and either give them the code when the time comes or schedule it for the time you know they're making up an exam students don't need to complete the test in one sitting if they get time and a half they can finish the test in your in the testing room later in the day by clicking resume quiz so tell those students not to submit their work is saved okay so i hope this helps and good luck on the test